Okay, so I want to do a vlog of our ride home. So this is another video. Check out the previous video. If you haven't seen it, we evacuated from Florida for Hurricane Milton. Um, so you can see all of that there. And we came to South Carolina and stayed with Shasta and her family from Abiding Farmhouse. We had a great time. We were there for two nights. Um, and it is now 11 o'clock on, I keep thinking it's Saturday. It's Friday. Um, yeah, this whole week has been like a blur. It's been crazy. Hurricane prep and all that. So we are heading home. Wood's about seven hours away. And of course, I want to stop and do a couple things on the way home. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, first off is we're going to get some lunch. And all of our kids are going to cough in the background. Um, we've all been fighting this cough for a while. The cows the yeah. <laughs> so we're going to stop and get some lunch and go to a park. I'm hoping a thrift store, or antique store. I don't know if that's going to happen. A mama can dream, right? Um, it'll be nice to get home. So far, like, our area did not have the flooding that they had anticipated, which is such a miracle. We are so thankful for that. And we're pretty sure everything's fine at home, but, we, like, we don't know firsthand either. Because our house is kind of off the beaten path as it is. Um, but hopefully, you know, nothing happens. So we're kind of anxious to get home, too. But I kind of, I just want to make memories with the kids while we're out. Because we haven't had a vacation a long time. Does that make you want a cow? <laughs> oh, is this it? So, we found a little local restaurant that we're going to go to. Where is it at? <laughs> oh, there it is. Perfect. <laughs> Camden wants pizza. Huh? I know. Such a cute place. You see the fishes? Who's that? And me. Bird dog one, bird dog two. Maybe it's a chicken. Oh, yeah. Well, no, because it was like two, and I got up, and now it's to the back. It has a bunny. Oh, that bunny. It has a bird in it. See a woodpecker. Okay. Bird dog. Where's your <laughs> so we're reading this and then television 1920s television became a reality and we're talking about how much technology has changed in like just over 100 years I think that's crazy don't you Sure. <laughs> They're not as fascinated as I am. No, I, I you're was, just tired. I was yeah. in the car. We're, we're at here. The bar. Yep. That's just crazy. In just over 100 years. All right, so we're here. We're going to walk. See a waterfall. It has. <laughs> huh? Sliding rock is big. So it says it was built in 1885. Wow. Watson Mill Bridge. And you could actually drive over it, but we didn't, we were scared our van wouldn't fit. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't fit. Well, it said nine foot clearance, so it would, but I don't know. It's fine. Really? You want to take the van? Yeah. <laughs> huh? This is like a new one. Oh, yeah. This is beautiful. You want to jump in that water? Yes. Oh. But it'll probably be very full. Yeah. I'm gonna get my feet wet. Oh, that's cool because then it's like a dam. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. That's so damn. Looks like it. I do have a fear of heights. <laughs> 
I know, that's what I was doing. Is the water cold? Did it? Did everything change the feet? No, you opened up your feet. Can I go all the way across the Oh, I don't know if that's a little. What do you think, Drew? Drew? Do you see the waterfall? Yeah. You got a leak? Good morning, everybody. So it is about 10 o'clock in the morning and we got in about 10 o'clock last night. We had kind of a longer trip home. We took the back roads and we stopped and kind of took our time. We, did, I think, stopped one time going up there and we made it in just seven hours. I really didn't calculate the time. I'd have to sit and think about it. It took us more than seven hours, but we did stop. Again, we just took our time. I don't even know how long we stopped for, so. But it was nice to just you know take some time and make some memories on the way home and we definitely had more back and breaks on the way home but so i just stepped outside to kind of assess the property i was pretty sure you know that there wasn't really anything major that happened um when we got in last night we did kind of take a flashlight around i did not get all my makeup off did i um but it's hard to see you know in the dark and with a flashlight I'm seeing that my loofahs look a little bit drier. Look at that. There's some geese flying above us too. They definitely feel damp from the rain. Looking at all the work that I need to do. I see some bigger tree limbs down at our property line. I'll have to walk over there and see what that's about. Hopefully it didn't knock the fence down, but uh, anyway, so we had a such a good time. Um, I'm so thankful to the Phillips family. And it is so good to be home. You know, like when you've... So I laid that door stuff down on the ground so it wouldn't, you know, fly away. Um, you know, like when you're gone for a little bit. I mean, we were only gone two nights. And you come into your house. It's like a surreal feeling like your home is just there welcoming you and it's exactly how you left it you know what I mean like it's just I don't know it's a different feeling coming in I don't know how to describe it so I've got a lot of yard work to do a lot of inside work to unpack and all of that but I'm just kind of just taking it easy this morning I actually woke up with a really bad headache and just feel like I just need a rest. And that is okay. All the other stuff will still be there. So we also majorly had soccer this morning. Four games. Um, Nathan took the kids. He woke me up, but that's when my head was just like pounding. And he was like, just stay home, stay in bed, and he'll take the kids to soccer. So that is where he is at. Um... And I'm just kind of, I don't know, walking around, seeing, making sure that everything is okay. Besides those limbs over there, I really don't see anything major. There's definitely evidence that there was wind because some stuff is tossed around. That thing might be completely damaged. That, where is it? That was over here. <laughs> so that flew around. I mean, there's no weight to it at all. So that is fine. I need to get out here and rip out the garden and clean this stuff up. Um, still have not gotten to the fall garden yet. Eventually, right? Oh, and pick up 
the yard stuff that we laid down. Got some mowing to do. All of this is for the, the week to come. <laughs> I'm not doing all that today. Like I said, I think I'm just going to unpack some. Take it easy today. This headache is like in the back of my neck. So that's why I keep holding it. Um, but it's good to be home. And so thankful that the damage was not any worse. Or, you know, as they had predicted is what I mean by that. Um, you know, you just don't know with these storms. They kind of come in scaring you. And, and what happened is, like, as the hurricane hit, you know, they it was hit as a Category 3. But the eye wall kind of, like, fell apart, which is not, quote, normal in what it's supposed to do. And I just think it was a miracle. And I know many people are thankful. There still was damage to account for. Still lives lost, which is... Oh, you know, like, yeah, I just can't even put into words where you're praying for the areas affected. I feel like I keep saying that, but it's just so heavy on my heart. It really is. We can look at some beauty around here. I never planted that, and that's a big bush, big tree that I need to plant too. This is lemon balm. It smells so good. Get off the yucky looking stuff. Mm. Well, this is pineapple sage. Kind of pruned it, hoping it would bush out some marigolds. Need it. Get out the weed eater. And these things are so fun. They seriously like live forever. And whenever I had these at my old house, they spread really good too. So. <laughs> I said I was going to rest, but it has been anything but restful. Best way to describe it is toddler tornado mess. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. Stop banging, please. Camden. So I got that all cleaned up and taken care of. Then I unpacked my suitcase and I'm going to fold this laundry and get it put up. And we've got more laundry and more stuff to do. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because I know that I'm just going to forget. I'm kind of in the zone and want to get some of this stuff done and just picked up so i also just want to say thank you to you guys many of y'all reached out to us and we're praying for florida and for the storm to go away and prayers were answered and y'all are just so sweet to think of us so thank you guys so much and we'll see y'all in the next video